Hey everyone, welcome to the video of the week. Today's video of the week is WWE wrestler The Fiend Sleb Talk. Um, I want to apologize about last Sunday. I had gotten a new family member and it was kind of just me trying to get her used to everything. So that's why I did not, I was not able to do a video of the week that day. Um, but I will be doing the what I have planned on that in the next Sunday's video of the week, which I will get to in a bit. But let's go ahead and get into this celeb talk now. So the Fiend, more commonly known as Bray Wyatt, or the current WWE Universal Champion, better known as Windham Lawrence Rotundra, born on May 23rd, 1987. This is a picture of the third of the fiend, by the way, if you guys don't know. He previously wrestled for WWE as Husky Harris, a member of the Nexus. He has a younger brother who wrestles under the name Bo Dallas. He is a third generation wrestler, following the footsteps of his grandfather, the late Blackjack Mulligan, and his father, Michael Tundra, or the IRS man. And two of his uncles, Barry Windham and Kendall Windham. His ring names, besides the Fiend and Bray Wyatt, are Windham Rotundra, Husky Harris, Tank Rotundo, Alex Rotunda, Alex or Axel Mulligan, I'm sorry, and Duke Rotundro, as well as Bray Wyatt and the Fiend. He's six foot three, two hundred and eighty five pounds. He is currently, as of the point of recording this video, 32 years of age. He was born in Brooksville, Florida, and currently resides in Brooksville, Florida as well. And he's billed from Brooksville, Florida. He was trained by FCW staff, and he debuted in 2009. In addition to his younger brother, Taylor, better known as Bo Dallas, he also has a sister named Micah. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but okay. He attended Hernando High School where he won a state wrestling championship in 2005. He graduated from high school in 2005. He also played football as a defensive tackle and guard. He played at the College of the Sequinas for two seasons, earning second Team All-American Honors as a sophomore offensive guard. He earned a football scholarship to Troy University where he played Calier football for two years. He left Troy University 27 hours before earning a bachelor's degree after deciding to become a professional wrestler. As of June of 2017, his first wife had filed for divorce after finding out him and WWE ring announcer Jojo Offerman have been having an affair. On March 27, 2019, she Offerman posted on her Instagram announcing that they were pregnant. On May 18th of 2019, her and or him and his and Jojo had announced the birth of their first child on social media, a son. His famous quotes that he is known for are, Follow the buzzards, go down with the machine. He got the whole world in his hands. I will always light the way. All you have to do is let me in. And yowie wowie. In professional wrestling, his finishing moves are the running senton as Husky Harris, Sister Abigail, which is a reverse swinging SCO, sometimes preceded by a kiss to the forehead, a stunner as Axel Mulligan, and a mandible claw as the Fiend. Signature moves include the Yurt-Nagi, the side slam, the pop-up forearm, the body avalanche, the headbutt, and the palm striking back to opponent in the corner. He is known as the Fiend, the the leader of worlds, the new face of fear, the man of a thousand truths, the eater of worlds, the reaper, the angel of dirt, and the army tank of Fiori engine. 
His current theme song is called Let Me In by the CFOs featuring R Code Orange. In the WWE, he is a former WWE champion, former Raw Tag Team champion one time with Matt Hardy, and a former SmackDown Tag Team champion once with Randy Orton and Luke Harper. He is currently the Universal Champion, and besides WWE, he it was one time a Tag Team Champion in FCW Florida with his brother Bo Dallas, or at the time known as Bo Rotundo. And his year is quite young and is still in his prime and all that, so he has many years to come. And with that said, guys, that is about it for him. I, if you guys are a fan of The Fiend as much as I am and my family is, I can't wait for his action figures and all that to come out and all that. So we'll have to wait and see um, what happens. But next Sunday's video of the week will be Walking Dead Season 10 Episodes 5 and 6 coverage. Since I wasn't able to do Episode 5 last Sunday, so I will be doing it next Sunday as a double episode thing. So, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Peace.